This mini PC is the best selling mini PC on Amazon. It has a 4.4 stars average rating with over 1000 reviews. I got it for around $150, so let's see if it is worth the price. Hit the like button and let's start. PC arrived just in one day in this box. Inside we have a PC itself, looks pretty good, with an HDMI cable, power adapter, mount bracket, screws, and instruction manual. Here's everything that is included, let's take a closer look at the PC. The case feels sturdy, it's made of black plastic with some copper color plastic for cooling openings. Ports are located on the front and right side, that's unusual. On the front it has a power button, 2 USB 3.0, 1 USB 2.0, and on the right side we have a power port, USB, 2 HDMI, Ethernet and audio ports. On the bottom side it has a rubber leg for stability and two clips. I unlocked the clips and separated the bottom module which connects to the PC by Type-C port. This turned out to be an SSD expansion module. We can add 2.5 inch internal SSD there. For some reason plastic finish inside is noticeably less quality than the rest of the case. I had never seen anything with this design before. Very interesting solution. PC still has rubber leg so it is absolutely fine using it without that module. It can be hooked up back once you decide to add more storage. Let's now check what we have in this mini PC. Right away I see an M.2 slot, it has a 256GB pre-installed, which is SATA M.2 SSD. We also have active CPU cooling with a fresh thermal compound. The top part is all plastic with some LED indication. Overall pretty basic single board PC. I assembled everything back so let's check how it performs. It is powered by 30 watts power supply and I had no issues connecting everything. First boot, I see blue lights and we have Windows 11 Pro here, which was pretty quick to set up. One thing is strange that I had Google pre-installed, but the rest of the system looks fresh. Be aware that after the first boot, it's better to install all Windows updates, which is gonna take some time. Let's quickly go through the specs. On the board, it has an Intel Celeron N5105, which is a 4-core CPU with 2Hz base frequency, 12GB of DDR4 on 2400 MHz, 256 GB of storage, here's the speed check, built in Wi-Fi, not the top but enough for Office PC, and Intel integrated graphics. Overall the system feels responsive. I'm actually impressed with the Celeron's performance, keeping in mind that it is a 10W CPU. It can run 4K video and handle simple office work and web browsing decently. Usually I see 8GB of RAM in these budget PCs, but here we have 12, which is definitely coming in handy for overall performance. PC is also very quiet even under a lot of load. Let's see how it handles gaming. I was able to run CS2 in 720p and I'm getting around 25 fps with a horrible frame time. To some extent it is playable but realistically this PC is not meant to run these games. But you can definitely play a lot of low demanding or some legendary titles. Let me know what you think about this PC in the comments. Now let's select winner for the giveaway I announced in the last video. And the winner is this person. Congrats, I'm gonna reply to your comments so let's get in touch. That's it for this video, don't forget to subscribe for more cool stuff on the channel and I see you in the next videos.